Behold, Norfolk State picked to finish second to last in the MEAC, opening up conference play against Florida AM, one of the conference favorites. First quarter, first drive, Kevin Johnson gets the corner and the touchdown. Spartans strike first, seven to nothing. But Fam U would respond. Quarterback Ryan Stanley, he's one of the best in the MEAC. And look at this. Over the middle hits David Marigo. This is something that'll drive Coach Latrell Scott crazy. Poor tackling. Manigo drags defenders all the way to pay dirt. Stanley threw for 293 yards in that 40-yard touchdown. Yeah, Scott's not happy. Second quarter, Spartans back on the board. Gerald Hewlett hops into the end zone. NSU takes a 14-7 lead. But again, that Spartan defense just made too many mistakes. Terrell Jennings for FAMU gallops in for six. The first of his two rushing touchdowns. FAMU hangs on for the win 30-28. Norfolk State is back home next week to face North Carolina A&T. William & Mary trying to rebound from its loss to ECU last week at Albany today. And how's this for an electric play from the Tribe's special teams? On the Tribe return, it's the freshman Bronson Yoder. Do or do not. There is no try. Yoder, return at 98 yards, he will. All right, I'm done with those jokes. William & Mary takes a 14-3 lead. Third quarter, Tribe holding on to a 17-15 lead. There goes Hollis Mathis, the freshman from Pittsburgh. 56 yards, untouched. And it's 24-15 Tribe, but Albany quarterback Jeff Undercuffler throws two touchdowns late, finishes with three for the game, and the Great Danes charge back for a 39-31 win. William & Mary back in Williamsburg next weekend for Family Weekend to take on rival Villanova.